Nothing says summer quite like a creamy, delicious strawberry milkshake. But what if you don't have any ice cream on hand? Don't worry, you can still enjoy a tasty strawberry milkshake with just a few ingredients. In this video, you'll learn an easy and foolproof way to make a strawberry milkshake without any ice cream. You'll find out the secret to a thick and creamy texture and get ideas for adding extra flavor and sweetness to your milkshake. So let's get blending. Okay, this only requires a few basic ingredients, but let's go over them quickly. One and three quarters cups of frozen strawberries. Frozen strawberries are the secret to making a milkshake thick without ice cream. If you go for fresh strawberries, you have to use ice cubes, which waters down the drink. You can either purchase frozen strawberries or freeze your own during strawberry season. Half a cup of heavy cream. This is of course the secret to a creamy milkshake. Without the creaminess of the ice cream, you need to add that extra bit of richness. However, I find that if you use all cream, it can get too rich. The solution is to use half milk. I like to use whole milk, but low fat milk should work in a pinch if that's all that you have on hand. Feel free to experiment with oat milk, almond milk, coconut milk, or another non-dairy milk if you prefer. The type of milk that you use will definitely affect the final flavor and texture, so keep that in mind. A tiny pinch of salt. This may seem weird, but adding just a tiny pinch of salt to your strawberry milkshake will help to bring out all the flavors. Remember though, just a tiny pinch. One quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Ice cream is typically flavored with vanilla, so adding a bit of vanilla extract can help to mimic those flavors. Please use pure vanilla extract, not imitation vanilla flavoring. And one to two tablespoons of strawberry jam or strawberry syrup. Now, there's no need to add extra sweetness since strawberries are naturally sweet. However, you can enhance the strawberry flavor by adding a tablespoon or two of strawberry jam or strawberry syrup. This secret ingredient will take your milkshake to the next level. But if you don't have that on hand, you can always opt for maple syrup, cane sugar, simple syrup, or a sweetener of choice. Okay, let's quickly go over the super simple steps. Begin by placing all of the ingredients into a blender pitcher. Blend on the lowest setting until everything is completely smooth. Since this is such a thick milkshake, you may find that you need to stop the blender and give it a stir to get it to properly blend. If you have a powerful blender, this probably won't be an issue, but weaker blenders tend to develop an air bubble that needs to be stirred out. If you opted for using strawberry syrup to sweeten your milkshake, you can spoon it into your serving glass. It's totally optional, but it makes for such a lovely presentation. Pour the strawberry milkshake on top. Look how thick that is, and you didn't even have to add any ice cream. Now a good milkshake needs a dollop of whipped cream on top. You could also use canned whipped cream to make things super easy. An icy cold milkshake is the perfect drink for hot summer days, but you can definitely enjoy this any time of the year since my recipe calls for frozen berries. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out this video next to learn how to make an iced strawberry matcha latte. I didn't turn on the dishwasher this time. Free fill, free fill. Don't worry, you can still drill.